Hey everybody, my name's Sarah. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have two days in my life. I have some of the food that I ate. I have a $400 Costco haul and I have um, me going to see the surgeon, which is interesting footage. Um, so I will leave you to it, but subscribe down below and let's get to it. Good morning. So it's 6.39, which is like pretty early for me um, as of the past few months. But today is a really special day. I'm going to see the surgeon. I finally got into a surgeon. They called last week. Um, and no matter what he says, I have a feeling that they're not going to be able to do surgery. I'm just going to have to keep resting it. Um, but no matter what he says, at least I got to see him. So I'll kind of know what my next move is. Um, so that's exciting. I have to be there at 9. And then um, I have to get another x-ray done at 9. And then I see him at 10. So that's really exciting. And I've been like super anxious and nervous about it. But it'll be good. It'll be a good thing to get done. So I have a sausage, breakfast sandwich, half a slice of cheese, and a little bit of mayo. My coffee. And then I'm just watching the McKnight Twins. Okay, it's almost 8. I got ready. I'm going to take Ruger outside for a bit um, because poor boy's going to be left alone. He's not left alone too often anymore, so that's kind of sad. But I'm going to take him out, then I'm going to leave, and then after I'm going to go to Costco, so I'm going to give you a Costco haul when I return. Okay, I just got to the hospital. Let's see what happens in here. Okay, I'm having a moment, is what I call them when this happens, but I just got out, they did an x-ray. I just got out, they did an x-ray, and I saw a doctor, and they, she said that I have to, she said that I have to have surgery, um, but they can't do it for a year because of COVID and wait times, and, um, they're gonna have to fully remove my Achilles tendon off my foot, shave the bone down, and then reattach my tendon. So the recovery is like really long too. Might heal before then if I keep up what I'm doing, but I'm on the way. Okay, I look a little a little rough because I just got home after that scene in my car. Um, but I just wanted to like recap on that and say like a few more things about it. So I'm on the wait list for a surgery, but it'll be about a year, she said, give or take. It could be less, it could be more, it depends on how fast I get through everybody, if people need it still or not. And also depends on COVID. So um, she said, if I keep doing what I'm doing, like I might be able to heal it on my own. So I'm definitely gonna try that because I want to avoid surgery. The surgery, so say I got it next January. Um, they, it's a major surgery, so then you're in a, uh, plaster cast for six to eight weeks. You can't put any weight on your foot. Then you move to a boot, um, cast, which I already had in September, and it didn't work, but I didn't have surgery. Um, it's just a pain. So then you move to a boot cast, then you have to, like, do physio and, um, rehab, and then all the different kinds of shoes you're gonna have to wear. So... In the end, it will take a year, um, basically, to recover from the surgery. So, that's two years. Um, another, like, hard thing for me to swallow was I asked her about having kids. And then she said that, um, it, like, I sh it's a personal choice, obviously. But it's not a good idea, probably, because, um, one, like, I'm going to have to deal with my pain in my foot if I just do it now. Two... If I'm pregnant, they're gonna, not going to do the surgery, obviously, so then it'll get pushed back. Three, if I had a newborn, I couldn't do the surgery. You can't, like, it would be a lot on my plate. Like, I couldn't look after my baby after having that surgery, and it would be really hard. So, definitely pushes that back. Um, and also work. I don't know what's going to happen with my work because I'm on my feet all day at work, and I can't be on my feet right now, so... And this is a two-year thing that's going to happen, so I don't know. There's a lot of, like, uh, opens in the air, and I'm glad I got to do that appointment today because I know for sure, like, I've seen the specialist now, um, but definitely, like, a lot on my mind and a lot to think about and um, a lot of, like, scariness because, um, 
even if I do get the surgery, like it's a huge surgery. <laughs> they literally take your Achilles tendon off your foot. So, interesting news today anyways so now i have a costco haul for you and i'm gonna show you that okay so this is a box of cornflakes this is for my in-laws um this is a pack of chicken breasts this was 28 dollars and then we love these marinated pork uh chops from costco these are only 14 dollars and you get a whole bunch so we love them they taste really good too and they're big pieces um we get the english muffins we go through a lot of english muffins so we freeze a bunch of these same tortillas we go through a lot so i get the big pack tostitos we have a lot of nachos so we like to get those i got a pack of sausage rounds we eat these a lot also um, chicken burgers, Derek's, Derek likes to have these for when I'm not home or if he needs to make dinner or whatever. So that's kind of his go-to. And granola, grain-free granola. This is for my mom, but now I wish I bought myself one. It's almond, coconut, super seed, maple syrup, cranberry, vanilla, and cinnamon. Sounds really yummy. This is also for my mom, these wisps. And I've had these before and they're really good too. Um, peanut butter, two things of coffee because we've been going through this now that we have a new coffee maker. These are only $10. They're not, like, all the way full. I think they're, like, this full, but $10 for these big packs. And so I just got two in case I don't go back to Costco by the time we are done. I got these Loli jogger pants, or LOL, however you say it. Now, these are all, like, these were a hot item, so I think these must have been returned or something, or someone took them out of the package to see them. So they taped them up, but I hope they fit. I'll try those on in a minute. Um, a pack of eggs, 18 eggs for $4.20, I think, so I always get my eggs there. Marble cheese slices, there comes in 48 of these, I think, and we go through these pretty fast, too. Derek likes making sandwiches, so we go through those fast. We've got two things of Tex-Mex cheese, one for my in-laws and one for us, and we put these in the freezer also. Um, these two things are for my in-laws. I guess they like these cheddar cheese from Balderson's, or not cheddar. What is it? Canadian cheddar. Oh, yeah, it is cheddar. Um, so they got them two packages of these. They must take them in their lunch or something. Um, Tide for my in-laws. Bounce sheets for my in-laws. And then I got um, paper towel. I always get them there because it's just nice to have them already in the cupboard when I need to replace them. I did get these two king pillows for our bed because... The um, comforter and stuff that we got, we just upgraded to a king. So that was all um, came with king pillowcases. We didn't have any king pillows. So I got us some of those. And then um, I got tin foil. We ran out of tin foil. These made good bars. These are for my mom. My nephew really likes these. And I'm sure she does too. These soft and chewy granola bars, I get these for Derek for his lunches. So there is, I think, 64 in here, and they're only $9.99, so I love, I think these are a really good deal. They are kind of small, but they're only 100 calories in case, um, I think they're perfect for, like, kids, or Derek sometimes takes two of these. Chocolate milk, mayonnaise, Nesquik, and I think that's everything. I also got, these aren't from Costco, but... Um, I wanted to try some of this wine, so this is the No Sugar Pinot Noir, No Sugar Rosé. I've had the rosé and it wasn't bad. Um, and then I got a box of Naked Grape because I like this one a lot. Okay, so here are the joggers. They're like tighter than I thought they would be, but they're probably going to stretch out. And I feel like if I got them in the next size up, they would be like too loose, so... I like how they have pockets and I like the material. I'm not crazy about them. Like if they had been more expensive, they're only $20 for two pairs. If they had been more expensive, I don't think I would have bought or I probably would return them. But for $20 and I don't leave the house, <laughs> I'll just keep them. So I forgot to say basically what we have a guest star today. I forgot to say basically what was wrong with my foot. Um, so the back of your heel is supposed to be like round and mine has like two points on it like they look like little like spears and um, So that is causing my tendons to rub on My on on the spears and then it's just like really irritating it. So I was basically I was born that way and 
a lot of the times they don't see this until you get older because you lose some blood flow down there um, as you age. So she said like I'm the youngest one she's seen it in and uh, that, so that's why. And that came up through the x-rays. You can see like the two points. I saw the two points like on the back of my heel. Thanks for watching. Subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next one.